OK. So in this example, I'm going to number five, the geometry one. Since your geometry days, this would be something you should be semi-familiar with. So it says geometry, the volume of V of a sphere with the radius r is given the formula v equals 4 thirds pi r, r cubed. I cannot tell you how many times I see students that say, oh, I didn't know how to do it. And then they didn't do any. They literally didn't write down anything. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot you guys can do without actually doing the problem. First of all, I would rewrite the, prob rewrite the equation. They give you the equation. Right? They give you the equation. Well, if you're going to be doing some math work, you're probably going to have to rewrite it, right? So the next thing is they tell you what the, for, you, a lot of times you have to identify the variables, right? What do these variables represent? I like your bird, by the way. So um, V represents the volume. The volume of the sphere. That's what V represents. And R represents the radius. So have I done actually any math so far? No, I just literally took a word problem, took out the equation that I'm going to be using, and defined the variables. Everybody, for all of these word problems, that's usually the first thing that you guys do. Regardless if you know how to solve the problem or not, that's what you should be able to do. However, now, if I think about things, um, it's not going to be, if I think about um, the problem, it actually does not really that bad. Question or letter A says, what is the radius? So what variable am I looking for? R. So I know I'm going to solve an equation. So if I'm looking for R, I'm solving an equation where it's going to be R equals. Does that make sense? OK. With the volume is 36V. So what is 36, or sorry, 36V, 36 pi. So what does 36 pi represent? Volume. So does it make sense I do this? 36 pi to 4 thirds equals R cubed. Mm -hmm. That's what the volume is. OK, so now we've got to solve. Um, what I would do first here is you could divide by 4 thirds on both ones. I'm just going to do one at a time, though. Let's divide by pi on both sides. Pi is a number. What is a number divided by itself? 1. Just goes to 1, right? So you have 36 equals 4 thirds r cubed. You could divide by 4 thirds. However, instead of dividing by fractions, I prefer to multiply by the reciprocal. So we can multiply by 3 over 4 on both sides. Um, 36, I can simplify this. 4 divides into 36, <coughs> 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27 equals r cubed. You guys also could do 3 times 36 and then divide it by 4. You get the same answer. Um, now, if I have the q, if I have an, my variable r that I'm solving for, and it's to the third power, how do I undo raising it to the third power? I have to take the cube root. OK, so the cube root is saying what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 27. Well, you don't have to use the identity element because you guys can even know that the answer is 3. So 3 equals r. All right, we're not done yet. The next problem, b says if the volume is increased by a factor of 8, what would be the new radius? So basically what they're saying is if your volume increases by a factor of 8. So increasing by a factor of 8 would be multiplying it by a factor of 8. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my volume, I'm going to do 36, and I'm going to multiply it by 8. So now that's 288 pi. So my new volume is 288 pi. So now I'm going to do the same thing, 288 pi equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Can I go ahead and do the exact same stuff that I did before? Hmm? So now they're just saying, here's your old volume. Your old volume got increased by a factor of 8. So I multiplied 36 times 8 to give me 288. Now I'm just going to do the same thing. I know the pi's divide out. Um, and of course, my calculator wants to die. Right at lunch, too. Um, 288 is Hold on. Hold on. Let me just get through this. Does somebody have a calculator? Can I see your calculator real quick? I'll get through this real quick. It'll take me less than 30 seconds. Maybe, maybe not. So I have 288 um, times 3 divided by 4. 
216 and then take the cube root. Uh, Two sixteen was it? Yes. That's six. So when you do this, r equals six, and it was asking you how did it get increased, right? It got increased by three, or it got doubled. You guys, you guys can say. All right. 